Now let's talk a bit about optional parameters. And we've seen optional parameters before. We could have a print statement where we say, let's all sing Marty. So that's one string. And then as another string, let's go with Gra, And then another string, Mambo. And then we can assign something to the optional parameter, SEP, which specifies what should appear between values. And let's go with three exclamation marks. And we hit return now. We get that first string separated from the second string and the third string by whatever we specified, those three exclamation points. Nothing we've seen so far with our function definitions shows how to create a function with optional arguments. And I should mention that the topic of the various ways of working with arguments in Python is rather lengthy and requires understanding some things that we haven't talked about yet. So we won't get into all that, but it is rather simple to implement optional arguments and it can be useful in our own functions as well. So we'll show how to do that here. But let's sneak up on this topic a bit. Let's first consider some functions without optional arguments. And let's go with a very simple function, f of x. And all this does is return x plus 2. Hitting return twice, the function is defined. Let's go ahead and call it as we normally would, just providing it with an argument of 3. And hitting return, we see the return value of 5. So that's just 3 was assigned to the formal parameter x. 2 was added to that, and that was the return value. But let's call it a different way. Let's say f your argument is x is equal to 3. And if you saw this in a math class, that would be OK. You're just saying oh, the function has x equal to 3. Now go off and do whatever you do with that value of x. But can we write this in Python? And let's go ahead and hit return. And sure enough, that works. That's no problem. So we're just saying that formal parameter x is being assigned a value 3. And we could do that when we call the function. Now let's try something else. Let's say f, you have an argument of y is equal to 3. And now when we hit return, we get an error. Python says, I, I don't know what to do with y. There's no y in the body of this function. There's no formal parameter y that you've defined with this function. So the fact that we previously said f, we're going to call you with x equal to 3, that was fine because we said x was one of the formal parameters. Now let's create another simple function. Let's call this one g, and it takes two parameters that we'll call x and y. And all this does is return the sum of x and y. Hitting return twice, the function's defined. And we could call it by just assigning 3 to x and 2 to y by giving those integer values in order. And we get a return value of 5. But how about if we called g, where we said the first parameter, assign that a value of 3. But y, we want you to have a value of 2. Well, Python's fine with that. Or we could say, g, we want to call you where you assign a value of 3 to x and a value of 2 to y. Python, again, has no problem with that. And then how about if we do this, if we try things out of order now? If we say y, you get a value of 2, and x, you get a value of 3, despite the fact that when we define the function with x in the first place and y in the second, this works as well. So no problem there. How about if we said, gee, we're going to call you, and we will have 2 for y and x. We want you to be 3. If we try this, Python gets confused. It says, if you don't tell me anything explicitly about the value that appears in that first position, I'm going to assign that to x. And then it sees in the second position, you tried to assign another value to x. This just shows that we can't be too cavalier in the order in which we specify parameters in terms of just a given value and an assigned value. With that bit of background, let's implement a function with an optional argument. And these are sometimes called named arguments or named parameters. And it's really simple to do. All we have to do is, when we write the function header, assign a default value to a parameter. Let's create a function. Let's call it h. And let's say 
it has a non-optional argument x. So that has to be specified. And then we'll have an optional argument. And it's optional because we're assigning a default value to it. So we are saying that y, you have a default value of 2. So that we can better see what's going on with these arguments, let's add a print statement where we say x is equal to, and then get the value of x, and also say y is equal to, whatever the value of y is, and now we'll return the sum of x and y. Hitting return twice, we have that function defined. And let's go ahead and call it as we normally would. Let's say h will assign 3 to x. And y, how about you get a value of 4? We see that x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4, and the return value is 7. Now, let's call the function, but only provide it with a single parameter. And if we do this, then we get that x is equal to 3, the value of that parameter. But y takes on the value that was assigned in the header, that default value. If we wanted to, we could say h, you have one parameter of 3. And y, we want you to have a value of 4. Well, we can write things this way if we want. And then we see that we just override the default value. One more call, let's go with h and say y you get 4 and x you get 3. This works OK as long as we specify all the values. We can do that in any order. Now again, there's a lot more one can do related to Python arguments, but we won't explore all that. Instead, we'll just leave things here where we now have the ability to use these optional arguments in our own functions.